David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. I need the real praises to start clapping your hands and giving God praise, because great is the Lord, and great is to be praised. We want to give him praise tonight. We want to give him adoration. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord. He's greatly to be praised.
Chester.
somebody tonight to know I know a man that can't fail. I know a man that works miracles. I know a man that heals, delivers, and sets free. Won't you help me witness and just tell somebody I know a man, I know a man. Matter of fact, throw your hand to God. Say, Lord, I want to thank you. Let's have some church. Praise the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of God. We thank God for his goodness. Amen. And for all that he is doing, we just honor the Lord and we give him the glory. Thank God, hallelujah, for another day that he has made. We praise the name of God. We thank him for another day. Those of you that are on the line, amen, that are watching by live, amen, we want to give you a little time to come on in and tag somebody. Amen. Tag somebody in. I uh, want you to do a watch party, amen. Do a watch party so that others can amen tune into this uh video live we certainly honor the lord we give god all the praise and all the glory we thank god and everyone in his respective places we pray that every family have been well amen has been doing good we just thank god for his goodness and for his mercy amen for he endured forever and I want you to know that God is a good God. Hallelujah. How I many you know God is a good God? Hallelujah. We just thank God for his mercy on today. We honor him. We give God all the praise and all the glory. God has been so good to us. Amen. And for that, we just give God the glory and all the praise. We certainly honor the Lord on tonight. God has been good. And we just thank him for his goodness. Another day that he has made. And the Bible says we will rejoice and be glad in it. Because he is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We certainly honor him. Amen. And thank God for everyone. We're going to give you time to come on in. Come on in. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. We want to give everyone time. Amen. To come. Amen. On in. Amen. Thank God. Come on in. We're going to give you time to come in. Hallelujah. God is so good. God is so good. Hallelujah. We ask that you would share. Amen. Share. Uh, go to watch party. Amen. Go to watch party. Hallelujah. So that everyone can come in. Hallelujah. We just want to give God the praise. Amen. On today. Amen. So we just honor him. Amen. God has been so good. Amen. Hallelujah. As the old, old song says, just another day's journey. And I'm so glad. Hallelujah. 
Just another day's journey and I'm so glad. Just another day's journey and I'm so glad. Just another day's journey and I'm so glad. And the world can't do me no harm. Just another day's journey and I'm so glad. Just another day's journey and I'm so glad. Just another day's journey, and I'm so glad, and the world can't do me no harm. Come on, put your hands together. Another day's journey. Come on, saints. I want y'all to clap your hands with me. Put those hand claps up on the live. Amen. Clap your hands, and let's just have church on this Thursday evening. And the world can't do me no harm, no harm. No harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. Just another day's journey, and I'm so glad, and the world can't do me no harm. Just another day's journey, and I'm so just another day's journey, and I'm so glad. Just another day's journey, and I'm so glad. And the world can't do me no harm. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, let me give you a time to come on in. Come on, everyone. Deliverance Chapel, come on in. Come on, come on, come on in. Hallelujah. It's time to have church. Wherever you are, in your living room, in your car, wherever you are, come on, put your hands together and give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Let's have church, y'all. Come on. Let's have church wherever you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Hey! Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Whoa! Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Come on, put your hands together to give him praise. Glory to God. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hey, ba 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 ka Hey, yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, another day, another day. Another day that the Lord has made. Oh, bless him, bless him, bless him. Come on, come on, come on, put your hands together. Oh, bless his holy name. There you go, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah, glory, glory, glory. Yes, Lord. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Come on. Worthy, worthy Lord. Worthy, worthy Lord. You so worthy. 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 Worthy Lord. Worthy. Worthy Lord. Worthy. Worthy, hey, hey, worthy, worthy Lord, worthy Lord, worthy Lord, worthy Lord, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, worthy Lord, worthy Lord, worthy Lord, worthy Lord. Hey, glory to God. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, give him praise. He's worthy of the praise. Oh, bless the name of God. Hey, glory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, let me give you time to come on in. Come on in, everybody. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, 
Yes, Lord. 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 So say yes. 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 So say yes. So say yes. Yes, Lord. 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 Come on, put your hands together. Yeah, glory to God. Oh, glory. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, bless his holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, ba 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 ko Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Glory to God. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Hey, yeah. He's wanted to be praised. Hey, glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, clap. Come on, clap your hands, saints. Let's have some church. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Hey, oh, my, 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 my. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hey, come on, put your hands together. Give him praise. I'm going to give you time to come on in. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise. Let's have some church tonight. Glory to God. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless him. Oh, bless him. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Na 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 na. Hallelujah. He's worthy, Lord. He's worthy, worthy. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Come on, let's just praise Him. Let's just worship Him. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Tap into the Spirit. Come on and give Him the glory. Come on and give Him the praise. He's worthy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. 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 Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his holy name. He's worthy of the praise. Come on. He's worthy of the praise. Oh. Let him in. Let him in. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you the glory tonight. We give you the praise tonight. We magnify your name tonight. God, you've been good to us in spite of our situation. You've been good to us, God. I pray for every family. I pray for everyone, God, across this nation. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood prevail. The blood prevail. Let the blood prevail. God, we thank you tonight. We honor you tonight, God. We give you glory. We lift our hands in the sanctuary and we bless you, Lord. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Wherever you are is the sanctuary. Come on, wherever you are in the sanctuary, I just want you to lift your hands in your house, in the living room, in your car, in the bathroom, wherever you may be. Lift your hands and give God glory. Hallelujah. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's worthy, he's worthy. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hey, hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, yes, Lord. We pray for everyone, God. In the name of Jesus, have your way tonight, God. Speak, Lord, speak, Lord. For your servant here, God, are not easy of the clay, God. Give me what to say to your people. Even on live Facebook, God, 
even on YouTube, God, whatever method of mediation we're, we're, we're praying, oh God, whatever method of social media we're here, God, we pray that you will look on them now. Touch the family right now, God. Look on that person, God, that's struggling. Look on the one that's having a hard time, God. Make a way out of no way. You are able, oh God, and we give you glory. We give you praise. Look on that pastor, God. Look on that woman of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Man, God, hear you. Woman, God, hear you. In the name of Jesus, we declare victory. We declare the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be set free. Be healed. Miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, come on in. Hallelujah. And we honor him on tonight. We give God the praise and the glory. We thank God for everyone, amen, that have tuned in, amen, to this live. And we just certainly, amen, we just thank God for his goodness and his, amen, his mercy that God have, amen, shared up on us, have shown us favor, God. Even in this pandemic, oh God, we thank you how he has blessed us. Amen. And those of you that have not been sick or gotten sick, amen. We certainly, amen, ought to give God the praise and thank God for his, amen, protection. Amen. Amen. It's a miracle. Hallelujah. We are living in a time of miracle signs and wonders. Hallelujah. And even though there's a famine in the land, God is yet still blessed. You just got to claim it. You got to stand in the right place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If God have made you a promise, stand on the promise of God. Hallelujah. He will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. Hallelujah. And I just thank God for his goodness. Amen. I certainly want to thank God and wave to our lovely first lady. Amen. First lady Taylor, she's watching. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. And to all of the Deliverance Chapel family. Hallelujah. D.C. I can hear y'all right now. D.C. I hear y'all. I hear y'all. United. Hallelujah. And certainly we thank God. We thank God. Amen. Put that united up on the screen so that we can, amen, see it when it comes in. Amen. D.C. United. And we just honor the Lord on tonight. Amen. If you would, turn your Bibles. Amen. I have a sermonette. Amen. I have a sermonette that God had placed on my heart. Amen. I want to share it with you. Amen. And we are, uh, we're going to be in, uh, moving on out of the way. Amen. If you would turn your Bibles, amen, with me to the book of Genesis. Go with me to the book of Genesis, the 26th chapter of the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis. Amen. There you go. Amen. United. Yes, yes, yes. I see you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Chester Scott. Amen. Sandra Nichols. Amen. Sister Patty. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Tiffany. Amen. To all of you. See my friend. Amen. Bishop Potts. Amen. Thank God for my brother. Amen. Michael Kirkley. Amen. Sister Bibbs. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Keep coming in. Tag someone. Tell them to come on in. Amen. We just honor the Lord on tonight. Amen. It's good. Genesis, the 26th chapter. Amen. Where, amen, we will have uh, this assignment on tonight. I just want to, amen, grab your attention just for a few moments. Amen. I promise you I'm not going to be long. Amen. I'm going to, amen, I'm going to uh, get high. Amen. Strike five. And then I'm going to go sit down. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the name of God. Amen. God has been so good to us. And, uh, God has been certainly good to us, and we just honor him on this time. Amen. But I do want you, amen, uh, before I get started, you can give. the ways to give on the, in the front of the screen. Amen. You can give by text to give at 972-954-4848. I want you to give that gift, amen, because I want, definitely want you to sow in this family land. You can also give by cash app, uh, dollar sign DC Kojic. 
That's a dollar sign DC Kojic. Amen. Text to give is 972 954 4848. Amen. Or you can give on the cash app. Dollar sign DC Kojic. Amen. And so we thank God for his goodness. Amen. Amen. There's ways to give. And also we would like for you to visit us on our website, www.dccojic.org. Amen. Go to our website. There's also ways to give in that way. Amen. Also, we want you to put your prayer requests in. Amen. On our website. Amen. We certainly thank God we're yet still keeping up our calendar. Amen. And this Sunday coming up, we're going to have praise in the parking lot. Amen. So we want everyone from Deliverance Chapel. Amen. If you can, we will come. Amen. We want to have praise in the parking lot. Amen. We're going to give God the praise and give him the glory. We're going to be preaching. Amen. On the last Sunday, I didn't really, I just kind of exhorted, exhorted a little bit. But amen, this Sunday, we're going to be preaching. Amen. And we just thank God for his goodness. And when everyone comes, we want you to stay in your cars. We're going to continue to practice our social distance. Amen. And we want to give God the praise. Genesis, the 26th chapter. Amen. We begin reading at the first verse. And I'm going to be reading from a new uh, international version of the Bible, if you would. And the Bible says, in Genesis 26, it says, There was another famine in the land in addition to the one that had occurred in Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Emily, king of the Philistines of Gerar. The Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land that I tell you about. See, we got to learn to do what God tell us to do. Specifically, when he give instructions, we have to make sure that we are doing what God have told us to do. He told him to live in the land that I tell you about. Stay in this land as a foreigner and I will be with you and bless you. For I will give all these lands to you and your offspring and I will confirm the oath that I swore to your father Abraham. Verse 4. I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of the sky. I will give your offspring all these lands. And all the nations of the earth will be blessed by your offspring. Because Abraham listened to my voice and kept my mandate, my commands, my statutes. And my instructions. So Isaac settled in Gerar. When the man of the place asked about his wife, he said, She is my sister. For he was afraid to say my wife. Thinking the men of the place will kill me on account of Rebekah. For she is a beautiful woman. When Isaac had been there for some time, Emily, king of Philistines, looked down from the window and was surprised to see Isaac caressing his wife, Rebecca. Emily sent, from, sent for Isaac and said, So she is really your wife. How could you say she is your sister? Isaac answered him, because I thought I might die on the account of her. Then Emily said, what is this you've done to us? One of the people could easily have slept with your wife and you would have bought guilt on us. So Emily warned all the people with these words, whoever harmed this man and his wife will certainly die. May God have a blessing to the hearing and reading of his word. I want to stop there for the sake of time. But in Amal here in the book of Genesis, the 26th chapter, praise the name of God, we find here where, amen, God had told, amen, Isaac to dwell 
amen, in this land. Is that right? Told him to dwell in this land. And don't go nowhere until I tell you to go. And it's important, amen, in this season and in this time that we make sure that we can hear the voice of God, amen, and that we stand still, amen. Don't, amen, get in a hurry to do anything. Uh, don't, don't, don't move from the place where God have you right now, but it's time to stand still, amen. It's not time to do a lot of moving around, a lot of jumping, amen. It's not even time, amen, uh, to go uh, to do a, a whole lot of things, but it's time to, amen, to quarantine as they got us, amen, and, and stand still and so that you can see the salvation of God. And whenever God gives instructions, it's best for us to obey them. Praise the Lord. And so in this text, amen, in Genesis 26, amen, here we have Isaac, amen, in this particular text. And we says, we just thank God for, amen, his word. And I want to use just for a few moments, amen, the topic, amen, I'm blessed in a famine land. I'm blessed in a famine land. Even though, amen, things, amen, seems to be there's a shortage Amen. A shortage in the grocery store. It seems as though when you go to the grocery store, you can't, amen, find tissue. You can't find bread. You, you can't find meat. Glory to God. I just even saw on the news where there's becoming a shortage of meat. Mm -hmm. Becoming a shortage of meat on the land. So there's becoming a famine of things on the land. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But we must, we must understand, glory to God, but there's not a famine of the word. Hallelujah. Because the word of God, amen, is still yet going forth across social media, amen, across the airways and the byways. The word of God, amen, there's not a famine of the word of God, but there is a famine of people hearing the word, amen. And so, amen, seeing as though, amen, this world has turned a deaf ear, glory to God, to hear in the word. But here in the text, amen, glory to God, God told him to stay in that land, and amen, and don't worry about, amen, them taking your well glory to God if they take that well don't worry about it dig another one amen and so I want you to tell yourself I'm blessed in a famine land come on put it on the screen say I'm blessed in a famine land the pressure of famine in Canaan forced Isaac with his family in flocks to migrate amen into the land of the Philistines where he was exposed, a man to personal danger, as his father had been in the past because of his wife, a man Sarah, her beauty, a man, a man, what forced him into danger. But through the seasonable, a man, interposition of the providence, he was preserved. How many of you know, amen, when God has his hands on you, he will preserve you. Amen. So Isaac remained in the, in the Philistine region on the south coast believing that God will provide for him and his family in the land God had promised him. You see, whenever God had promised you something, you must stand on his word. You got to learn to stand on the promises of God. Hallelujah. And so with him believing that God would provide for him and his family, amen, in the land that God promised him. But amen, he liked the faith to trust God to protect him from violence. And just like, amen, his father, he lied to protect himself and said his wife was his sister. You see, you got to understand that whenever God says that he's going to protect you, he says, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. And we're living in a time and day right now, it seems like, amen, we're looking like, where is God? Why is all of the death and why is all of the sickness? Where is God? It seems as though God, amen, 
man is not a man around. It seems as though God has left us. But I stop to tell you tonight, God, amen, he's still there. Hallelujah. He dwells in your heart. Hallelujah. He said in his word that he will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. I don't know about you, but I just thank God. You got to learn how to trust God when you can't trace him. When when all hell breaks loose and all seems as though things are going wrong and seems as though things are not, amen, going the way you have planned. And, and even in this time and day, amen, there's so many things that is happening. Uh, amen. Nothing should catch you off guard because there's so much that is happening on the land. Uh, but we yet still got to learn to trust God. Uh, and so here, amen, uh, amen, Isaac had a lack of faith, uh, amen, to trust God to protect him from the violence. And I want you to be encouraged tonight, saints of God, amen, that God can protect you through this pandemic. God can protect you from sickness. He can protect you from corona. He can protect you from the flu. He can protect you from AIDS. But you got to be obedient to God's will you got to learn to be obedient to God hallelujah you got to stand in the place where God tell you to stand if you want him amen to protect you hallelujah when you get outside of God protection hallelujah uh, you own your own then so here amen we find that Isaac glory to God he lied to protect himself and said the same thing that his father Abraham said Abraham said amen that Sarah was his sister uh, but did he really lie because when you look over in the book of Genesis the 20th chapter glory to God and you look at verse number 12 and you look, look at verse number 11 the verse number 11 says Abraham replied I thought there a man is absolute no fear of God in this place they will kill me because of my wife so Abraham he feared that they would harm him because Sarah was a bad mama jamma. She, she had to have been fine, glory to God. Maybe she was a 36, 24, 36. I don't know, but glory to God, she was fine as wine. And so Abraham was afraid that they was going to kill him because of her beauty. Uh, but he didn't lie about her being his sister, glory to God, because in verse 12 it says, besides she really is my sister, amen, the daughter of my father, yeah, that's the word though not amen though not the daughter of my mother and she became my wife but nevertheless amen God yet still protected him in this time and we got to learn that God will protect us when God says he's going to protect us amen you can look for your protection and so God he'll give directions but when God gives directions he also gives a promise yes he does and so here in the text there is a famine in the land but God directs him to stay there he directs amen Isaac don't go anywhere stay in the land and where I tell you even though Oh, there's a famine in the land amen most of the time people amen want to get gone they want they want to get out of here because amen they fearful they they are running to different places because of fear they're running here because of fear glory to God people are running out of their marriages because they are fearful of what may happen they're trying to protect themselves but I want you to know whenever God have called you to stay stay Amen. And stand on the promises of God. Because really you are blessed in a famine land. Yes you are. And the promises to be. Amen. He will promise to be with you. Amen. Even through the end of time. And so whenever, when, when everybody else leave, God will be right there. When your husband walk out on you, God will yet still be right there. When your wife walk out on you, God will still be right there. When your best friend, whoever walks out on you, God will still be right there. Praise the Lord. And so, amen, the covenant that God made with Abraham is also with Isaac. And so the promise, I'll stop to tell you tonight, the promise that he made with Abraham, the covenant 
covenant with Abraham is also with us. His chosen people. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I'm chosen. Hallelujah. We come up under the Abrahamic covenant. He says, I will bless them that bless you. And I will curse them that curse you. And so Isaac, amen, have the same promise that Abraham had. And the Bible says that Isaac is now an heir of, he's an heir of the promise. It is here that God communicated with him and said, go not down to Egypt. Don't go down to Egypt. And I stopped to tell you tonight, America, don't go down to Egypt. Don't try to jump ships. Stand right here. Don't go nowhere. Amen. Stand right here on the promises of God. Because God can bless you right where he told you to stay just as well as you hop in ship. I don't want you to know. I want you to know. Amen. Just because you see that the grass looks good greener on the other side the grass ain't always green on the other side uh, if the grass is always green on the other side let Pastor Taylor tell you it's probably artificial turf so don't go for the okie doke you better stay amen what God have told you to stay don't go down into Egypt where the land of corn hallelujah he told him to go down into the land of Egypt and I want you to stay right there because this this was a place where the land of corn and even other lands were barren amen but Egypt glory to God still have food hallelujah you don't have to run to the grocery stores and buying up everything because God have made you a promise what is the promise Pastor Taylor I'm glad you asked he said my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory hallelujah if they don't send me a stimulus check. I'm yet still blessed in the land. If they don't send me no money. If the government don't send me no money. If you don't send me no government cheese. I'm still blessed in a famine land. Because God is going to provide for me. If he don't send me anything. I'm still yet going to stand on the promises of God. And I got news for you. Let me put a pin right there. For those of you that are getting your stimulus check you you're getting your money glory to God you're blowing up the phone and trying to find out when my check coming huh? but don't be fooled by the okie doke huh? you better bless God hallelujah you better bless God with your substance huh? the Bible tells us glory to God amen to, to tithe huh? and to give your offering huh? you need the tithe is every time right now huh? every pastor huh? every ministry huh? needs for you to continue to bless them huh? need for you to continue to support the ministry. Don't stop giving now. Don't just stop giving because this is a blessed time to sow in a famine land. Hallelujah. Oh, you say, well, pastor, I can't afford go with the God to give. Well, you can't afford not to give because God is going to supply your need. I believe that God works with miracle signs and wonders. And so here, amen, he was blessed because he was obedient to the will of God. Amen. Because amen, Egypt still had food. Glory to God. If you know that God tell you to stay there, he's got to be the one to provide. God will and God can. He can deliver. He tells him to dwell in the land of which I shall tell you. Oh, glory to God. And I will be with you. Amen. And he, amen, his promise, amen, to bless you. Isaac, if you just stay in the land in which I told you to stay, amen, I will bless you. Glory to God if you just be obedient to my will. And God is telling you right now, saints, amen, don't you move too much. Stay in his word. Even though you may not be able to come to the house of God right now, but in your spirit you ought to be living lifting up the name of Jesus so you got to obey God because the Bible the Bible tells me that to obey is better than sacrifice and so I will give 
you all this land uh, he said if you stay in this land uh, I'm going to give you all this land uh, you remember what he told Abraham uh, he said everywhere you tread your feet uh, everywhere you put your feet down uh, and if you're in your living room right now uh, if you're in your car right now uh, I dare you to get out and put your feet on the ground uh, and put them on the ground and raise your feet up uh, and say I'm going to claim my land uh, because you're blessed in the city uh, you're blessed in the field you're blessed going in and you're blessed coming out say yes Lord and so he tell him he says I'm going to bless you in this land in other words the same oath which he swore to Abraham will he do it he swore the same oath to Abraham will be his in the seed your produce you see it's in the sea that you produce say yes Lord if you stay in the land everything attached to you is going to win in this season everybody that's connected to you is going to be blessed say yes Lord all because of Abraham his obedience to God say yes Lord I'm so glad that Abraham Abraham, he obeyed God. I'm blessed in a feminine land. Say yes, Lord. And don't worry who tried to shake you. Don't worry if they take that well. Just get up, Isaac, and go dig another well. Say yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You see, I see God. He's giving a boomerang blessing. What do you mean? Taylor it's called reciprocity say yes Lord whatever you throw out is getting better to come back say yes Lord if you sow sparingly it's going to come back sparingly if you sow reaping it's going to come back reaping but I'll tell you to sow so in abundance uh, and watch God uh, say us Lord uh, thank you Jesus uh, oh Jesus uh, he's so good to us uh, Isaac sold uh, in that land uh, because God told him uh, not to go down to Egypt uh, say us Lord uh, now you must understand uh, when there was a famine uh, the river now uh, provided water uh, say us Lord when there was a famine the river now provided water for Egypt the crops grew when there was no rain say us Lord so there was no food in Egypt hallelujah even when there was a famine in our country you still you eat it even though there's been a pandemic across the globe God that still bless you. You got food on your table. You ought to say thank you, Lord. You got clothes on your back. You ought to say thank you, Lord. Say yes. As a matter of fact, instead of you going and buying everything and storing it up in the closet, you ought to find somebody else to bless right now in this season. You are blessed in a family land huh? say yes huh? oh Jesus huh? oh Jesus huh? say yes Lord huh? glory to God huh? there are times huh, when God huh, will have us huh, to do something huh, totally different huh? say yes huh? from other things huh? thank you Jesus huh? divine help huh? comes uh, when all of human efforts uh, is exhausted uh, say yes uh, thank you Jesus uh, I dare you to sow in a family land uh, when Isaac uh, planted his crops uh, that year uh, the Bible says uh, his harvest uh, was a hundredfold uh, say yes Lord uh, in the same year uh, glory to God uh, if you plant uh, in 2020 uh, you're going to reap uh, a harvest uh, in 2020 uh, say yes uh, too many of us uh, want a hundredfold uh, 
when we saw in the 34 mentality say yes Lord you came reap what you don't sow I need to say that again too many of us we want a hundred fold when we only got a 34 mentality say yes Lord Jesus is going to bless the faithful He's going to bless the faithful. Say yes, Lord. God kept his promises and to bless Isaac. Not everybody is happy about your blessing. Somebody is looking at you. They're looking right now and they're saying, how could you be blessed? What happened? Everybody's calling, calling you on the phone. Did you get your check? How you got your check? Because God showed me favor. I got favor and it ain't fair. Say yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jealousy will sit in when you get blessed. Jealousy will sit in with other people when they see you coming on the rise. Say yes, Lord. The Philistines, they grew jealous because everything Isaac did, it seems to go right. Everything that Isaac touched, it became blessings. Say yes, it became a blessing. Whatever he touched, say yes, Lord. And I stop to tell you, Facebook, whoever around you, they're going to be blessed because you obey. You obey God. You didn't fall short of the glory. You didn't let the pandemic freak you fearful. You didn't let fear grip your heart. But you stand still. You stood on the promises of God. Say yes. So they feel his well with dirt and tried to get rid of him. Some people, they tried to put dirt on your well. But don't worry. Keep on digging. Say yes. Don't worry. Keep on digging. When they try to get jealous because of your blessing, don't worry. Just look at them. Put it on the screen. It said, I'm blessed. I'm blessed in a feminine land. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. Yes, I am. They tried to get rid of him. Say, yes, Lord. Jealousy is a dividing force. But haters are my elevators. Haters on my elevators talk about me. All you want, prophesy. Say it. Say it. Say it out. Who we Jesus? Who we Jesus? Isaac. He became rich and more rich. Say it. Every time. You put me down. You just bless me the more. Say it. Hey, say it. Hey. Every time they talk about me. Say yes, Lord. Look at Isaac. They talked about it. And the Bible says he became more rich, more wealthy in a family land. They didn't understand because the hand of God was upon him. The Bible says Isaac didn't get mad. He dug another well. I got news to tell you. Don't worry about them talking about you. Don't worry about the waters who trying to figure out how you're being blessed in this family land. Thank you, Jesus. Dig another well. Say yes when they put you down. Don't worry. Encourage yourself. Say yes. He became more rich when God has favored you. Devils, back up when God has favored you. The blessings of the Lord will send you. They will bless 
against you that will come upon you say yes the devil got to back up the philistines ruin isaac's well three times isaac men dug a new well but isaac he kept on moving say yes don't stay in one spot keep on moving in that land don't go down to Egypt but God says stay right here so I can bless you keep on keep on digging watch out for people who try to stop up your progress watch out for people who try to hinder your blessing but God got your back yes he does I said God he got your back the Philistines filled up the earth they filled up of Isaac's well filled it with dirt somebody is throwing dirt on you somebody is throwing shade on you but don't worry keep on digging keep on digging keep on digging keep on digging when the devil try to stop you just keep on digging say yes the church don't need a new way to dig up that old that old prayer say hey old time praise and worship remove not the old the old landmark it's time for us to go back down on our knees go back to the altar go back to the altar get down on your knees and call i said call i said call call him call him call on the name of the lord keep on digging say as wells of fresh water thank you jesus isaac servants dug another well and the bible says he discovered a well of fresh water but then look at the shepherds from Gorilla tried to claim that well but isaac didn't get mad when they tried to claim your blessing don't get mad dig another well because you're blessed in a family land say yes he kept on kept on digging they got mad over that blessing but isaac kept on digging until he got to rubber say yes lord thank you jesus rehoba which means on open space get ready because god is bringing you I said get ready get ready because God is bringing you to an open space yes make space because you get ready to shout you get ready to give him praise in your open space clear your tables clear your fear move your furniture and get ready to shout Shout, God will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. You don't have room enough to receive. Come on, give him praise. Hey. Come on, make yourself some room. In your living room, make yourself a room. It's an open space. We're homeless. I want you to tell yourself, put on the screen. We're homeless. Or open space. We're homeless. Claim your homeless. Your open space. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah
Oh bless it. Oh bless it. Rima baba bakosa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, lift your hands. Why you on live? Lift your hands right where you are and bless God. Say, Lord, forgive me of every sin. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for being disobedient. I come to you now as humble as I know how. Forgive me, God. I repent of every sin. Change my heart. Change my mind. Lord, I'm ready to be saved. Come on, tell him I'm so ready to be saved. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. Save me. Save me. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Come on. Put on there, I'm blessed in a famine land. I'm blessed in a famine land. Come on, type that in there. You got to claim it. Huh? He gave you a promise. You got to claim it. I'm blessed in a famine land. In spite of what it looks like, I'm yet still blessed. I may feel weak in my body. I may be sick. I may be down. But I'm blessed. I'm blessed in high. I'm blessed going in. I'm blessed coming out. Say, hey, you might have went into the hospital sick, but you're coming out well. You're coming out healed. You're coming out delivered. Delivered! Hey! Hey, Baba Bokosha. I'm gonna quit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Like my mama. My mama, Ella Costa, would say, I'm gonna leave y'all alone. Hallelujah. God is so good. Saints, I'm blessed in a family land. Hallelujah. It's because I know how to be obedient to the will of God. Hallelujah. We have to learn the obedience of Christ. Glory to God. Because whatever God promised you, whatever he promised you, you can look for it to be. Whatever he promised, look for it. God's going to stand on his promise. He will never break his promise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why we have to be careful of what we say and what we do and where we go. Praise be the name of God. God is so good to us. We're going to ask you again, amen, if that you would sow into this ministry. Sow, sow into this ministry. Even in a famine land that we're in, amen, you can give by cash app, dollar sign DC Kojic, amen, or text to give at 972 954 I'm looking for every member of Deliverance Chapel to sow, amen, to give an offering. Hey, this is our obligation night. Sow that $20 seed. I want you to sow that $20 seed right now. Sow that $20 seed right now. This is our obligation night. This is not nothing that we uh, do new. This is something we regularly do on a regular basis. But we, So we want to continue to support, amen, the ministry, amen. You can visit us even on our website, www.com dckojic.org amen there are other ways to give on that website amen also you can put in your prayer requests amen and we will look those prayer requests up and we will put it on the altar and be praying for you so we're asking you amen those of you that desire amen some say well I don't know how to do the Facebook or the text to give or any of that but well, we are here at the church amen we are here at the church uh, we'll be here on Sunday amen come on by Drop off your tithe and your offering. Uh, it is not a time now to stop giving. Hallelujah. And I just want to put it out there. And I'm standing in the gap for every pastor, every leader. 
whatever ministry you're under, amen, don't stop giving. Continue to sow, amen, to that ministry. Is ever a time that the pastor and the ministry needs you is right now. In this such time, I've heard across the globe of some other ministries, they having to shut down, hallelujah, because people, amen, are not giving because they're not there. That shouldn't be so. Hallelujah. That shouldn't be so. And I want to tell you, I want to warn you, amen, if you will stop giving because of this pandemic, you better hurry up and give back because when this thing lifts, you're going to be sad that you did. Hallelujah. I can assure you, God's promises is yea and amen. His promises is true. God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. If he said that he would do it, look for it to be. You can take it to the bank. So I'm asking everyone, amen, that is looking on live, amen. You want to sow, and this is good ground to sow in. And I believe that this is a good church to go to heaven from, amen. So sow that seed, sow that seed. Deliverance Chapel, I'm speaking directly to you especially. Sow that seed of $20. Sow that seed, a dollar sign DC Kojic, amen, or text to give at 972-954-48. Amen. 4848. Glory to God. We pray and we're going to believe God for the blessings. Amen. I'm going to ask, amen, though, as we continue, amen, to pray and lift up the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to pray for everyone that have lost their loved ones. All of those, amen, have lost their loved ones. Amen. Some people didn't die because of coronavirus. But we want to yet still lift up that family. Amen. Glory to God. We want to lift up amen those that are working on the front line the nurses the doctors amen and those who are trying to make a difference uh, in this difficult time and i pray amen that god will bless you richly amen it's not it's nothing wrong with giving one thing i always say god will never ask for that that you don't have but he will ask for that that you're trying to keep amen so it needs to be that sacrifice that god is asking you Amen to give. So I'm asking you, amen. DC, you're 90. Amen. Come on, come on and give. Give. Give that $20 seed. Amen. So that we can continue, amen, to do ministry. Because after a while, you're going to be able to come back into the sanctuary. And we're going to give God some praise. I can see you now all over the sanctuary. Hallelujah. I can see the, the shout going on over here. I can see shout on aisle two, shout on aisle three. Glory to God. I can see them over here. Glory to God. Lifting up their hands. Uh, oh, 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 I feel a wave coming in here right now. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. Somebody throwing their hands up in the middle section. Somebody on the back row throwing their hands. Somebody over here on the left side throwing their hands. Somebody's running around the church because of what God has done for them. You better sow in this family land because you get ready to reap a blessing like never before. So, hey, 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 glory to God. Glory to God. Hey, now. All right, all right. Hallelujah. God has been good to me. Mm. I can't help but serve him. I can't help but serve him. He's been good to me. And I honor the Lord. I honor the Lord. Glory to God. So we would, amen, give on tonight. We want to pray for you. Lift those hands if you're looking. We're getting ready to go off. But Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, someone needs you at this hour. We pray for those. We pray for them right now. Those that are watching live, those that need prayer, those that are listening in, God, we pray that you would go into their house, go into their situation, their problem. God, you're able to intervene in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for healing, God, healing on that sick body, God. In the name of Jesus, somebody in the hospital room, God, you're able to touch them now. Hey, Bobo, you're able to touch them now, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for you. We pray for you, God. No, 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 no. We pray for you. We pray for you right now. As we are standing in the gap for your people.
We pray now, God, as we lift up our heads, we give you the glory. We give you all the praise. Look on your people, oh God. Look on our president of the United States. Look on our presiding bishop. Look on our jurisdiction of bishop. Look on every pastor, every apostle, God. Look on everyone. God, in the name of Jesus, look on the body of Christ. God, you're able, God. Hallelujah. You're able, God. You're able to look on them, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, lift up the heavy down, the hang down head, God. Lift up the heavy burden, God. God. Yes, God, you said that your yoke is easy. Yes, God, and help us now. Help us, God, to cast all of our cares upon you, for you care for us, God, and we give you the glory. We give you the praise. I pray that you will send your anointed. Send your anointed, God. God, in the name of Jesus, I want your power, your anointed, in the name of Jesus, and we give you the glory, God. Hey, glory to God, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. My brother prayed for me. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. pray for me and I pray for you in Jesus name amen hallelujah